Hello, Wanderers. Welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following Aegon Blackfire, and we pick things back up in the immediate aftermath of the Battle of Forktop. And now, although the Battle of Forktop was technically a loss for the Wildlings and ultimately forcing us to pull our forces back from the wall, the fact is we went into that battle vastly outnumbered against a foe that is supposedly superior in arms and armor and tactics and with cavalry and, you know, all these brave knights of the South. And despite that fact and their their overwhelming numbers, we still killed more of them than they did of us. Not to mention how many of them starved and, you know, died of the cold uh, when they were suffering all that attrition here. Uh, during the during the cold so frankly i'm pretty happy with how that battle went it was pretty epic and you can only imagine you know this massive force from the south having been like starving and dying for for weeks now almost months probably and then coming up against this wildling force and just having to throw in like wave after wave of you know lords and you know, peasants who have, you know, been brought along to fight in these armies, their retinues, and just getting, like, cut down by these wildling forces. And, you know, even though we did lose, the fact is they had to send in just, like, massive amounts of troops, and we still almost pulled off a victory nonetheless. So I think considering that, the the, the people from the south are not going to be wanting to come back north anytime soon you know we pulled back from the wall but i do not think that they are going to be venturing beyond it anytime in the near future after you know what they just suffered and that was a massive army you know it was a, a huge coalition of lords that were arrayed against us and you know that's a lot of people who are not going to be wanting to go up against the wildlings again. So even though we lost and they won technically, I don't feel like either side, you know, I don't feel like, you know, the wildlings feel like it was just a complete loss or, and I don't think that the Southerners feel like that was a, a quite as glorious of a victory as they might've been hoping for. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty happy with uh, how that turned out for the story because it was pretty epic. So, uh, we will have to plan out what we're going to do next. We did ransom some prisoners, which is nice. Gives us a little bit of extra money here. And our son has come of age. Damon's energetic nature was thought to be a sign of an affinity for war and combat, but perhaps it was simply unruliness. He has only developed a basic understanding of the subject, but at least he has learned the essentials of managing an army. We can only hope that the rest will come with experience. They grow up fast. So he actually didn't end up getting uh, as good of traits as we might have hoped. Dutiful captain, it's, it's fine. And train fighter. So he's not particularly a skilled warrior or commander, but he does have some, you know, other things going for him. I mean, his dread is going to be extremely high. Uh, you know, he is ambitious. He is sadistic, <laughs> diligent, and paranoid. I'm not sure when he picked up paranoid. But, I mean, it's not the worst, right? Intrigue plus three, Dread Gain. Scheme, like, the Dread Gain is going to be very helpful for him. Uh, you know, enemy personal scheme success chance, minus 25%. That's going to be helpful, too, because people might want to get rid of him. And, yeah, uh, it's <laughs> he's a horrible, horrible person. But he might actually be good at what he needs to do, considering he's going to have to rule you know, these wildlings uh, once we're gone. So, yeah, uh, I mean, and he can improve his traits as well. I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing him, uh, you know, upgrade to skilled skilled fighter or, uh, you know, increasing, you know, his uh, education trait. Could happen. I mean, we started off as actually, yeah, we're just a dutiful captain as well and a uh, skilled fighter, but we started off as a trained fighter. So we did increase that. and. Yeah, we'll see. He's he's maybe just a little bit more cruel than he is genius when it comes to uh, war. Our son is cradled by death. Uh, our son is in the godhood now. Fortunately, our 
newborn child did not make it. So, yeah, I mean, after that, what, you know, what do you do after that? Flatfang, we've, so we've got alliances with Flatfang and the Thin, um, but the rest of these lands are kind of still open, uh, potentially for conquest. I mean, Ice Guard's, you know, looking pretty prime for the picking. Uh, not really too, too concerned about small events like that at the moment. You know, we could go and solidify this and then potentially pass those down to our children. But for one, mechanically, I don't think that would be that helpful because it really will just kind of get passed down to, uh, you know, we're Confederate partitions. So our titles are being split amongst all our children. So, uh, although, you know, you know, not to make necessarily purely mechanical decisions. But I think we need to lick our wounds for at least a little bit here before we start conquesting, you know, on the other side of the frost fangs here. If some time passes, we're definitely going to do that because I can't imagine that Aegon is the type to, you know, not to just leave them in peace. Um, but, you know, I think we're going to I think we're going to hold off for just a little while and you know, solidify our hold over the vast amount of clans that we already have here. If things change in the future, we might go and continue the expansion, but think about it, like, crossing the Frostfangs to go and wage war on, you know, the cannibals of, you know, the, the Bay of Ice and whatnot, or the Ice River clans. I think those are the cannibal ones, right? I think that uh, it just... It's something that we're probably not going to jump into immediately after we just got uh, into that crazy battle with the Southerners. So we're probably not going to continue our con conquest for a little while. Chieftain Gorn is shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. Chieftain Osha has been waging war against me and your good, loyal subjects in the chiefdom of Ald Hills. Surely this infighting only weakens us all and should be stopped in its tracks. I see your point. I can arrange a peace. Osha won't like that. You are too weak to rule. Then perhaps you shouldn't. I think that that is the... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's our friend. Oh, I wasn't actually, wasn't actually looking at that. Or did he just become our friend? Well, in any case, uh, you know, I think it still still goes true. He should be able to win. Hopefully he'll be able to win it anyways. Um, but yeah, I didn't see that that was uh, our family friend. Wasn't, uh, wasn't looking. We might have stepped in, but, you know, we are ruthless. So, you know, maybe even our friends need to uh, hold their own. We can't just go and stop them. This is a wildling matter, you know, so... Ah, you know, it might still make sense. Uh, but yeah, what do we do from here? Well, I feel like we're going to... Ah, who is this? Our queen? Who actually holds titles? Oh yeah, Bleakwater and Forsyth. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, she has come to discuss a matter with us. Hmm. Chieftain Wallen and his faction wish to install Chieftain Wall on the Bleakwater throne. Okay, well, in this case, I think the traitors will have to answer to us. Uh, yeah, I think that we're not going to let our, our queen be ousted from her position by some, you know, random chieftain, Chieftain Wall and the Cruel. No, we're obviously going to back up our wife at the very least. So there we go. To blindly chase a wild creature, launching arrow after arrow or spurring even harder. Futile, laughs Queen Harma of First Forest, my renowned captain. Beasts can be cunning. They scent the stalker on approach, scatter before the hunting pack, and turn violent when cornered. Bringing down the quarry means knowing them and the wilderness well. And once the horn is sounded, never relenting. The most skilled of my hunters is Harma. In her company, my son Damon is coming to know the ways of the old god's creatures. And the ways of outwitting them. Well, that's actually good. So he's going to get the, the hunter trait. 
Well, that's excellent. So he's actually starting off with a hunter trait. We might even lead a hunt here. Oh, we have been invited to a grand tournament. Uh, what do they got here? Archery, wrestling, and... Hmm, I don't think we're going to actually bother joining this. You know, you can sometimes get some good traits, but I don't think we're going to travel all the way up to Thin to to deal with, to join in a tournament. Uh, I'm tempted to do a hunt, but we'll probably, we'll probably wait a little bit on that, actually. I want to save up some money here. Betrothed can marry. Ah, here, our daughter, who is going to inherit uh, some of our lands. It says she's going to inherit the wall, but I don't think she will. She will definitely inherit the Ice Lakes, however. Um, she is... Potentially getting married to, well, the Green Seer. So she is getting married to one of the Thens, or the leader of the Thens. The Greek comes of age. There we go. So, yeah, she's a, you know, she learned a little bit of fighting, anyways, but, uh, yeah, okay. So maybe we will go to this tournament then, considering our daughter is going up here to get married. So, yeah, sure, we can. We can join in. There's a tiny bit of danger, but it's uh, not really too concerning. We probably just need a forest guide. And is there like a snow related one? Mount this is probably mountains or something. Mountaineer? No, that doesn't. That doesn't seem to help. Ah, we'll face a little bit of danger in the mountains, but you know, I'm not uh, too too worried about that. Doesn't look like there's any places that we should really bother uh, stopping off at. So yeah, let's go and join this tournament here. Simply because we need to, you know, we'll escort our daughter to seal the alliance with the the Thens. Because they are a strong ally. So dual demanded. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, defeat <laughs> this guy here. Force him to force him to serve us, basically. Lake Man, he's actually a pretty good character. Skilled fighter. Hmm. Journeying through Corpse Fall, we have a strange man who wishes to read our future. Let us see. We could bring him along with us. He's actually an interesting character here. Wise man, great eminence, and you know, he's got some yeah, you know, let's let's ask this man to join us on our journey here. Do need a new admiral, so we'll probably put Leodin in charge. He's a new guy we just brought on, but he's actually quite good. Faith of the Seven Stormlander, interesting. Uh, you know, I wonder how he ended up here. Maybe he was a prisoner from you know from that battle and he's you know come into our service after you know after the the after the battle of fork top there that could kind of make sense we've arrived at the tournament uh do we try to do we try to win it or do we try to do something else recruit for friend we don't really need to recruit anybody Befriending isn't so helpful. You know what? Let's we will let's try to prove ourselves uh if we can't oh, I wasn't even apparently uh uh we did not qualify. I was letting time pass without realizing it. Um if I were to find the right person to talk to, no. Uh I wonder who will win. Yeah, let's uh let's just see who shall who shall win here. We'll speed up time a little bit. Like I said, we don't really have too much to do other than kind of holding the course for now. Are not yet qualifying for the wrestling cots. I wonder if we, I mean, we potentially could, you know, despite our age. Uh, you know what, let's try it. Let's see if we can win the, win the wrestling tournament. So, yeah, we are guaranteed to qualify. We'll, we'll throw some... Throw some fools down in order to uh, assert our dominance, because that's how they do it north of the wall, right? We shall, we shall have to see. I could, wouldn't mind going to artisan quarters. Just to, you know, sometimes you can find some good things here. Uh, 
This isn't super helpful. We could get the Exquisite Crest. That's actually not so bad, considering we are the head of the dynasty at the moment, so... All right, so we are in. Let us see if we can win the wrestling tournament here. Uh, this is no way to win. We are going to defeat our enemies with our bare hands. If I jink right, I'll be able to find out. So yeah, we're going up against Chieftain Had, son of Hemig. Uh, and ooh, yeah, so we're going up against a thin man who's like similar of age to us. I don't know why it's always the old guys who get, you know, in the wrestling. Maybe we just got the moves. But uh, you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna try this. And then we're going to uh, you know what? Say, come let us lock up as warriors. Looks like we lost though. Unfortunately. Damn, he gone Blackfire, you know. He you know, he might be failing a little bit in his old age. I bet his son is probably just like planning on killing him and taking over at this point, frankly. Um, but yeah, you know what? In his old age, he's probably losing a lot of the respect that uh, that he had earned before. So, you know, there's a little bit probably of, of danger of an, a wildling uprising, even though I don't think we have any factions up against us. We are certainly going to need to really uh consider our position among the clans here and and if we're going to be able to retain that yeah i mean i feel like damon you know just being like young uh you know ambitious like he's not this is like the type of people who are type of person that people fear uh just as much as they respect probably more fear than respect honestly uh, and combine that with, like, his, you know, good looks and, you know, his skill as a hunter and, you know, just his, just the the sheer uh, kind of awe that's probably coming, you know, especially as our, this North Valyrian culture, this culture that kind of respects the Blackfires as more than just men. The more that that spreads, uh, the more that Daemon is going to inherit, you know, this kind of clan of wildlings, much like the Thens, who worship him as a god. So, finish that grand tournament. We did deliver our daughter to the Green Seer, the Magnar of the Thens, and, you know, cementing that alliance. But <laughs> I have a feeling that uh, Damon is probably going to want to... Uh, Take all the lands that his siblings might inherit uh, coming up. So, it's a dirty, frail girl watching our entourage. A member of our caravan informs me that the locals say these lands are haunted by someone they call Egret. Very, very common name here north of the wall. It was said to have been raised far away from human society to be a wolf. Apparently, the poor creature has taken a fascination with us as e and has even started to speak some basic Valyrian. Though not to any meaningful proficiency. Interesting. Uh, that's a cool event. Uh, let's, uh, we'll train the girl. Yeah, you know what? Why not? It's an interesting event, you know, this wolf girl who speaks Valyrian. You know, I think that that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Long last, I am home. Thank the old gods I can go inside again. I know we are uh, over our... Uh, holding limit, but I'm not really going to worry about that uh, right now just because we're quite old. There's probably a well, I mean, our health is fine. We're probably going to live a little bit longer. Uh, but, you know, these titles are just going to go to our children and we're not really. Ah, we're losing a little bit, but it's it's not that bad. And I do want to kind of spread these titles around some of our children here. So, yeah, we'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I don't think we need to get rid of them uh, with any any real urgency. Terio, Faith of Relor Bravosi. Whoa, this guy is a this guy is an extremely skilled fighter here. We've got uh, you know, a first first sword of Bravos here in in our midst Blademaster. 
order member. Yeah, this uh, this guy must actually may, is he like actually uh, one of the swords of Bravos uh, or formerly? I mean, the kind of feels like it. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna obviously uh, keep this guy around, and we could make him our admiral. I wish he had been or been uh, here to uh, train uh, Damon, but uh, doesn't seem doesn't seem like that's the case. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I wonder if we could get him to, you know, if we switch him with Chief Disharma here, could we get him to train captains? Can increase their commander, commander traits, captain improved. You know what? I think we're going to do that in the chance that he will train our son up to be better. So I think that that should work. Hmm. Our wife apparently could not be. Oh, she couldn't be the admiral because she's not on the coast. Uh, but the Bay of Seals, you, you should be fine for that. Question of loyalty. My wife is with child, but we're not sure if this is uh, if this is our own. Well, we're going to confront her directly. Ah, and our daughter has come of age as well. She is a charismatic negotiator. Not too bad, so. Sneaking suspicion. Of course the child is yours. She bites her lip. Why would you ever think otherwise? I don't believe her. You know what? Intrigue challenge. They grow up fast. Indeed, they do. The question is, so we could get our children married, but we could do a grand wedding. You know what? I think we are going to do a grand wedding. Just to further solidify the the grand nature and like the place of the Blackfires as more than just wildling lords, you know, we want the people to see us as being almost like like gods among them, just like the Magnars are. So you know, hosting a grand wedding, I think it does. Uh, you know, go a long way towards that. So that is actually what we are going to do. We will host that grand wedding. And you know what? That's uh, that's pretty good. So we're going to do that in uh, Hard Home here. In Storold's Point. And we don't need the forest guy because we're not going anywhere. Recreation, murder, diplomacy. Uh... What does this do? Gain an alliance. Or. Or. What does it say? Or, or even wow them into submission. Could we get the Thens? Ah, oh, it says it doesn't look like they're coming. Ah, oh, I was hoping that the, the Magnar of the Thens was coming and we could wow them into submission. But maybe we can get... Uh, Get somebody else here. Ghost Lakes. Unfortunately, we already have. Walrus Bay. You know what? Let's see if we can wow Walrus Bay into submission. That's what we're going to try anyways. While, while this wedding is going on, we can probably even splurge a little bit. Generous feast. Gargantuan meal. Garlands in silver and gold. Yeah, you know what? We're going we're gonna to splurge because this is actually surprisingly cheap. Uh, let's see where the other guests are. Can we not? Why? This makes no sense. Uh, at all. Neighboring rulers. Okay, maybe we... Maybe we can not invite those neighboring rulers here. I'd love... <laughs> is there a way to just, like, not invite somebody? I don't know if there is. I mean... But I do want... Well, see, I want... All right, I'm going to take a look at something here real quick. Okay, so the I couldn't find any way to stop from inviting uh, Tyrion and the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. That doesn't make any sense. So I am going to uh, select that neighboring rulers won't be invited. I'm pretty sure that uh, that's what this means here. Um, extended family, you know... That should be fine. But yeah, I just... It doesn't make sense for Tyrion and the Night's Watch Commander to show up to this. So we just won't... Uh, we just won't be inviting them. And, and frankly, this is more for the people within our realm 
anyways, so I'm actually fine with that. Uh, but yeah, we are going to host this wedding. It's going to be probably the, the grandest thing that has ever been seen north of the wall, I, I might imagine. So yeah, let us, uh, let us start this grand wedding. And we will see the events of this grand wedding in the next episode. Until then, Wanderers, thank you for watching.